Does this sound familiar? Wouldn't it be ideal to charge your battery on the go? Now mobile device users can do just that by harnessing the sun's energy with a portable two-piece charging system. Here is how it works. Solar panels capture sunlight. A mobile booster then stirs the energy to an internal lithium-ion battery via a USB power port, and then your device can be charged. And if there is no sun, charging can also be done from a computer's USB port. You've heard about dialing 911. But how about texting to 911? Residents in Black Hawk County, Iowa can get help by texting their local 911 dispatch center. But the service is only available to users of iWireless, a T-Mobile affiliate. Texting 911 will likely expand to other cell phone providers and even other government agencies like the Minnesota Department of Public Safety. In a survey of more than 100 government technology subscribers, we asked, what are the barriers to broadband internet adoption? Here are your top answers. High cost of service, lack of availability, lack of perceived importance, lack of competition, and reliability or quality issues. For more on these and other tech stories, read Government Technology Magazine. For GTTV, I'm Karen Stewartson.